Hello, and here's exactly how to fix the ChatGPT error code access denied 1020. Now, I've got a few different solutions for you to fix this problem. So the first thing that we can try is to clear our cookies. We can do this by going to the three dots right here and then go to settings. Now, once you're in the settings, you want to go to privacy and security and here you will see cookies and other site data. Click on this and then scroll down to click on see all site data and permissions. Here in the top right, please search for open AI and then you can drop the menu down and here you will see all the data from the ChatGPT and the open AI site. Now you can either delete a special site or you can just delete all data, which I recommend. Click on this trash icon right here and then click on clear. Now please check if the error still occurs and otherwise we can turn off some extensions. So go to the extension page right here, click on it, go to manage extensions and then please disable uh, all the extensions and then check if the problem is fixed. If the problem is, is fixed, enable the extensions one by one until you see which extension is making your chat GPT not working. Now, if that didn't work, we can try another thing. We can try to download the VPN. So what I recommend doing is going to the extension web store. We can do this by typing extensions Chrome store and then search for the Chrome web store. And you will see the extension page and now search for urban VPN, urban VPN. It should have 2 million plus uh, installs and then click on add to Chrome. Now, once the extension is done, please click on the extension thing right here, search for urban VPN and then click on this little thing right here. Now it should open up right here. And then how this will work is click on the urban VPN icon. This will open up. You need to agree and continue. And then I uh, recommend clicking on auto server or you can choose any location here that you'd like. Click on the play button and now the VPN is connected. Check if ChatGPT works. And if you'd like to disable your VPN, please just press on the pause button. Now we have another thing that we can try and we can uh, flush our DNS via the command prompt. So in order to do this, just go to your windows and right here, search for program, search for CMD or command prompt. Now, please run it as an administrator because you need to do this. Once it's opened, we can type some com comments. The first thing that we need to do is type IP config space slash flush DNS press enter and now the next thing that we can type is netch windsock reset wait for it and then type netch int ip reset and then it should give this and then it should show the following now in order to uh, complete this action you need to restart your pc so i recommend doing the last stop a step and then restarting your pc or if you'd really like you can do it now now the last thing that we can try is to go to our control panel then go to network and internet then go to view network status and tasks then here on connections click on your connection type this can be wi-fi or cable internet right here click on properties and here you should see a lot of different things search for internet protocol version 4 so that it will be ipv4 then if you found it click on properties and then it should show like this for you. Now, please click on use the following DNS server and then type in 8.8.8.8 and right here type 8.4.4 like this. Now, please click on OK, click on close, click on close and now your problem should be fixed. If you still have any problems, then uh, I can't help you, sorry, but like and subscribe please and thank you for watching.